Hi and welcome to another Watch Geek video. Today we're taking a look at the latest version of the Spinnaker Rack that I unboxed a couple of weeks ago. Rack has always been, as the name suggests, a distressed line of watches from Spinnaker, but this newest iteration turns the worn look to 11. If that is your thing, you love it. I personally am not a fan of it. The process of getting this watch a look like a wreck, pun intended, involves hand finishing the dial using blowtorches, acid baths, and oxidation, at least according to Spinnaker. I personally have no reason to doubt their claim, as the damage on the dial and hands is quite extensive. So at least it's not completely fake, but still, with it being done to a brand new watch, does make it fake compared to watches with real damage done over time. Like I said, I'm not a fan of these types of watches, fake or not. While damaged dials get praise from vintage watch lovers and cool names like Tropical, Chocolate and whatnot, I see them as merely watches that have not been taken care of properly over the course of their lives. I understand, however, there are people who are as happy in finding a distressed vintage watch as I am when I find a near mint one. Following that trend, I understand Spinnaker and I'm sure there is a market for the wreck, as some people don't want to go through the trouble of acquiring a vintage watch that will most likely be fragile, in need of service, and hide who knows what other problems. With this, you get the look, but underneath get a modern watch freshly made, with a brand new movement, meaning it should be problem free for years. Not to mention it actually is water resistant. The materials used are also modern, so you get a highly scratch resistant sapphire crystal that you won't have to buff out like an acrylic found on vintage watches. The size is modern as well, with 44mm in diameter and 51 lug to lug. It makes it a modern diver, that for me at least is on the big side, but most people will find it perfectly sized. The movement powering the watch is a Seiko NH35, an entry-level automatic movement that has both hacking and hand winding. And in this version comes with a date function. It is a no-frills workhorse movement that can take a beating and can run without a service for a very long time. As a regular entry-level automatic watch, this thing is not bad at all, and actually looks pretty handsome, clearly drawing inspiration from the Black Bay heritage. The red bezel insert is aluminium, which is needed to create the distressed look, and the bezel action is one of the best I have seen on a spinnaker so far. It is firm, precise, and has a pretty loud clicking action. The Rolex styled coin edge teeth are easy to grip and make operating it a breeze. The crown is a screw down and also pretty easy to use. The whole case is finished in the matching distressed look that I actually like as it reminds me of the Seiko SUS models and looks pretty good. The watch is paired to a thick leather strap and a matching buckle, although there is a bracelet version as well that comes on a solid link jubilee. With a price of $315 for this variant and $350 for the bracelet version, they are a bit steep, but with the standard discount code WATCHGEEK20 that I'll leave in the description, they drop to a more reasonable $250 and $280 for the bracelet variant, which is okay for what you get, especially if this dressed look is your thing. Like I said, it is definitely not for me and I would consider it if it was just a regular brand new watch with a brand new watch look. One interesting detail that I thought would turn out to be something more is the longitude and latitude etched in the dial. I went to Google Maps expecting to find coordinates of some famous shipwreck, but it ended up being just a point off the coast of Isle of Man. In my opinion, a missed opportunity to make for an interesting conversation starter. Anyways, that completes this week's review, so thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed and found it useful. If you did, please like and subscribe, and until the next video, bye.